Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. And today we're gonna to be looking at the brand new Chaffee kit for Flames of War. This is the one that came in the American Bulge uh, starter set, but it's also the, um, the one that's gonna come in the separate army box as well. So I thought I would do individual videos kind of looking at some of these newer kits uh, and just taking a look at the, the process. Usually when I do an unboxing, I, I build some of the models as part of the unboxing, but with this particular release, I just wanted to make uh, that part of the video separate. So in this video, um, we're gonna look at the Chaffee. So here is the frame in the unboxing I showed it, but I thought I would show it in a little bit more detail here. You can see some of the great detail it has. I know someone in the comments of the uh, unboxing had asked about uh, stowage and stuff like that, and um, it does have little pouches and stuff you can put on the side of the hull or the side of the turret. Um, so it does have some stuff like that as an option. So um, the kit itself is pretty straightforward and nothing too complicated in, um, you know, in part count or how it goes together or anything like that. When you put it together, you end up with something that looks like this. So this is the plastic kit put together and you can kind of see what we're getting here. I didn't use magnets, I just used the peg that it comes with. The starter box does not come with magnets, so I didn't want to use magnets, but you can see it is definitely a cool little tank. It's like a Stuart uh, on steroids. Front armor four with that nice anti-tank 10. Makes it a really nice gun. Uh, So construction wise, um, out of all of the kits, I would say this one had the most issues, at least as far as me building it. Now, maybe I was just doing it wrong or not, but um, everything went together really well, except for two parts. Um, one was the barrel. The barrel just seemed to, um, you know, it's keyed to fit into the, the hole in the mantlet a particular way. And it just seemed like it was the either the, the peg was a little bit too long on the barrel or something, but mine just did not line up. Uh, a little hit with the um, the file um, shortened up and then it fit just fine. But I did notice, I did, did see that it wasn't quite as snug fit as uh, some of the other tanks. The other, the other um, issue I had was um, the back plate. This back plate here uh, didn't quite fit as uh, smoothly as some of the other kits. Um, so I had to actually sand the sides of that to get it to fit. And without sanding it, it was kind of pushing the tracks farther apart and making the making a gap there on the back deck. So just a little sanding um, fix that as well and it went together just fine. So with all these kits, um, you know, there, there's always gonna be some cleanup whether you're filing the little nubs from the frame or whatnot. So just dry fit, make sure you like how it goes together and then, then glue. And as long as you do that, you can avoid uh, gaps. And like I said, I may have been missing some feature of this that, uh, um, you know, so that it, it did fit. But for me, I had to file that, but otherwise not a big deal. All right, um, and then the other thing I thought I would like to show is just, uh, this is the, the plastic kit, which is brand new. In the previous Bulge release, we had uh, Battlefront's um, resin and metal version. So I have one of those painted up, and I shot it, thought I would show them side by side. So you can kind of see the metal and resin version pretty much spot on for length. Um, Let's take the track wise. The metal one tracks are a little bit wider. Lengthwise, they look the same. 
in this one it has the side skirts which is a piece you can add that um, to the tank although it makes painting the tracks a little bit harder but you can see a comparison of the the detail a comparison of the detail on the back deck which is pretty pretty interesting I like these little notches are different their spacing is different um, from the resin to the plastic so I don't know which one is more accurate I'm assuming the plastic one would be since it's newer but um, overall the you know all the same design elements are the same here's the turret overall length looks like the plastic kit has a longer barrel but thinner than the metal and resin version but overall you can see that so the actual um, metal and resin version is a fine rendition of the tank but I do really like the uh, the plastic version so I am looking forward to adding a second platoon of chaffees to my collection and I think once they're painted the resin and the plastic are gonna go together seamlessly and you're really not gonna be able to tell unless you really get down to the nitty-gritty but there you go so that is a cool uh, look or at the chaffee m24 m24 yeah light tank I like it a lot I think the chaffee adds a lot of gameplay options to American lists if you like running light tanks fast tanks if you like a hyper aggressive play style uh, the uh, chaffee might be something you want to look at great trying to flank things like um, panthers and other uh, German medium tanks not so much AT-10 is not great against things like uh, uh, tigers and uh, anything with side armor 8 it's a lot harder to to get a penetration with any tank 10 but it can still be done or you go after the more squishy stuff so there you go guys that is again another look at the chaffee light tank from the american bulge release i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do consider giving us a like and subscribe click that bell to receive notification when we release new content you can also check out our patreon if you like our flames of war content um, and their patrons get access to a Flames of War battle report every month exclusive to them. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and keep on gaming.